So here we have a plate of the bacon-wrapped grilled tiger prawns with a black bean salsa and corn emulsion from Bentley's on 27. The number one thing to consider when taking a photo of a uh, food dish would be the lighting. So using natural lighting is best if you can. And we have the dish here on a table that is uh, right next to the window. Something else to consider when using natural lighting, that you're in front of the window, your back should be to the window so that the lighting will be shining on the dish and you won't be competing with the sun um, behind the plate. The next thing to consider when taking a photo of a dish would be the angle. There are usually a lot of components in dishes, especially a dish like this at Bentley's. So therefore, you want to make sure that you can play around with different angles to um, figure out which angle will work best for this dish. Get close to the dish, so almost directly in front of it, so lower yourself to the table. I'm taking a photo that's almost dead on, but maybe a little bit higher. We can play around here. And then in the background, you can see the chairs, silverware, the candle on the table, and that actually adds some uh, a little bit of um, interesting elements as well. The actual food is in the photo here in this frame, but the entire dish is not. So this purple plate here, I'm actually positioning the camera so that the front of the plate is not within the frame. Now if we were to take a picture of the photo directly above, then you would not be able to see the height of the dish. And so you can see here, it almost looks more of like a soup. You can take overhead photos, so having a soup or maybe even a pizza, something that has a lot of toppings and is a very flat, one-dimensional uh, food item, you could easily take a picture overhead of that item and be able to show all the elements in the dish and it would look really interesting and pretty there. The last thing to remember when taking a picture of a food dish would be the garnish. So with this dish, we actually have uh, what are called pea shoots and they are these little green uh, pieces of garnish here that add an extra element and some dimension to this dish and make it look very pretty. It also brings in a new color of a bright green. If you had a dish that's a small filet um, with just a small side dish, you could also add a small side salad to the side of the plate, which would bring in some color as well as fill up the plate. Here we have the mixed grill dish from Bentley's on 27. So we probably would not want to include too much stainless steel in the photo. As you can see, that's a lot of stainless steel, which has a uh, very high glare. So because this is a taller dish, we would want to try to include the, sh the popcorn shoots in the photo. But with doing that, we, we are going to get some of the kitchen line that is behind here in the shot. Uh, but you want to make sure that there, there's nothing that's behind it that would be dirty, any kind of dirty towels or dishes. Another option would be to maybe scoot the dish towards you so that you can get more of the plate and maybe even move the dish around a little bit to make it a little more interesting. So here from this angle, we have a little bit more depth 